Uh-oh, looks like someone's booster water heater needs to be replaced. Ew. The installation of a properly sized booster water heater will ensure that a sufficient amount of hot water will be available at all times. The last thing you want is germs, spots, or lipstick on your dishes and flatware. A booster water heater is very important to your operation, your reputation, and your customers. To make it easy, here's a checklist of four simple steps to guide you when replacing or purchasing a new booster water heater. First, look for the make and model number of your dishwasher. Now if you know the make and model of your dish machine, there is an easy way to size your booster using the booster heater sizing chart in the back of the Hatco price list. However, this chart only works if you have an incoming water temperature of 110 or 140 degrees. Most primary water heaters are set at one of these two temperatures. However, you may lose some of this temperature as the water flows to your dishwasher. To make sure you know how to size a booster heater for any dish machine, taking into account the actual incoming water temperature, let's first learn how to size a water booster heater using the foolproof scientific method. Next, you'll need to determine the incoming water temperature, the temperature of the water flowing through your incoming plumbing pipes. This is where the water enters the booster at the lowest temperature of the day, usually during your busiest time. Test the spray, rinse, or faucet next to the dish machine for the temperature of the incoming hot water. To make sure your booster is sized correctly, remember the final rinse temperature needs to reach 180 to 190 degrees for high temp dishwashers. For example, your incoming water temperature is 110 degrees. The water needs to reach a minimum of 180 degrees to be effective. The degree rise you're looking for is 70 degrees. Next, let's determine your gallons per hour. This information is available on the Dishwasher Manufacturer's Dishwasher Spec Sheet or website or on the NSF website www.nsf.org. Look at the water temperature recovery table in the back of the Hatco price list. Find the degree rise you are looking for. In this example, it is a 70 degree rise. Follow the column down until you see 66 gallons per hour. If 66 isn't listed, always round up to the next size booster. In this case, sizing up would be 69 gallons per hour. Follow the row to your left and the correct booster recommended would be a C12, which is 12 kilowatts. In some cases, you may not have a Hatco price list at your fingertips. You can use the water booster calculation formula that will guide you to the same result. For example, Billy has a dishwasher that needs 66 gallons per hour at a 70 degree rise. Multiply the gallons per hour by degree rise and divide by 400. This will equal 11.55 kilowatts, the kilowatts needed. The numerals in our model number coincide with the kilowatt. Next. You will need to know the voltage and phase of your facility. If you are not sure, contact your electrician. Now that you can size a booster using the foolproof scientific method, let's show you how to do it the easy way, using the booster heater sizing chart in the back of the Hatco price list. Locate the booster heater sizing chart in the back of the Hatco price list. Please note that you must choose from either a 40 degree rise or a 70 degree rise depending on the temperature of the water that is coming out of your primary water heater. Remember, only these two temperature rises will work for this chart. Otherwise, you will have to use the foolproof scientific method we learned earlier. Find your make of the dishwasher and the model number. Locate the degree rise you will need. In this case, it is a 70 degree rise. Follow the row across where the model is and the 70 degree rise column down to see the appropriate model booster heater you will need. C12 or S12 would be the appropriate booster for this application. The fundamental difference is that the C12 has a 6 gallon tank and the S12 has a 16 gallon tank. The S model also has a larger footprint which provides easier serviceability and will step low the electricity in the higher kilowatt range. 
thus reducing the operator's demand charges on their electric bills. And that's it. And don't forget about the knock-your-socks-off customer service that makes HATCO famous. Now go ahead and give your image and business a big boost with a HATCO Booster Water Heater.